Okay, so this is part two. What we're gonna do here, we're just gonna um, try to add animations to our characters. We'll probably um, add a few more things to our scene and maybe create some basic movement in terms of projectile and uh, some scripting as well. Okay, so let's start by creating those two, well, turning those two into a prefabs. So I'm gonna create a folder called prefabs. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna drag skeleton mage and a zombie here. I'm gonna rename it. Target one and player one. In case in the future maybe I wanna have some different players or targets, then I can just duplicate this prefab and change the skeletal mesh of it. Okay, so now let's create animator, animator controllers. So I'm gonna create a folder called, animate, called animators, right click and create animator controllers. One will be for our player one, I'm going to duplicate this one and this one will be for for our target. Okay. So I'm going to delete those two prefabs from the scene and drag it uh, with the prefabs we've just created. Right, so let's start with the player. I'm just going to take our animator for the player and drag it into the main uh, prefab. Double click on it and it's gonna open the animator window. If you don't have this for some reason then you can go into Windows, Animation and click on Animator window here and it should open exactly the same window. So now I'm just gonna create a empty state and I'm gonna call it idle and in the project files I'm gonna look for idle animation of our uh, character. Skeleton Mage all in one FBX. <clears throat> so I think this is where all the animations are located. So I'm just going to drag idle into here. So now when we press play, we should see this um, character animating. Okay, great. So this is basically a um, our state that we're going to go into right after we press play. So now let's try to do the same for our target. So I'm going to select the target. I'm going to go into animators, drag the target animator, double click, create idle state. And now let's look for the animation. I should be here, I think. So let's try calm, maybe. Let's try if this one works. Okay, it doesn't. So I'm guessing it's not for this character. Okay, so it seems like I can't find the right animation. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna debug it a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna select this. 
I'm gonna select the target, then select our idol and try to find the idol that it's working with this character. Right, so it seems like none of those are working, which I don't think is correct. So I'm gonna select, I think, which one might be working. So I'm gonna select this one, select our target, and I think the not having avatar here might be a problem. So I'm gonna just try to look forward. Okay, so it seems like this one is working, although it seems like all of them are wor working. So maybe it's just missing the avatar. Okay, right, so we've got the idle working now in the play uh, mode. So all I, all I have to do now is to right click and copy component on the animator because when we go out from the uh, play mode, you see everything disappears. So um, I'm going to select my target and paste component values now, and it should be working okay. I hope. Yep, great. So another thing is that I really don't like the camera angle. So let's maybe try to fix our camera angle now. Maybe something like this. I'm just gonna uh, round up the values. Okay. I'm gonna save the scene as well and the project. Let's try it again. Great. So we've got two characters and they're playing in idle state. Okay, so now let's try maybe add a cast animation to our uh, player. Okay, so from idle, I'm just going to create new state and I'm going to call it cast. I'm going to make transition to the cast. However, I want to set up the condition. Okay, so it seems like I don't have any parameters, so all we have to do is just go into parameters and let's try with trigger for now. Let's call it cast. Now let's go back to our to this arrow and condition will be cast. So basically we're gonna go later into some do some coding and we're gonna say we're gonna say basically in code that uh, when we press a button on our keyboard, we're going to send a signal to our trigger and it's going to switch to cast animation. And obviously later on, we're going to code how to spawn projectile that will be going towards our target. So now let's try to find the cast animation. I think it will be default attack. Let's see if that works. So as you can see on this graph, it goes to idle and it keeps looping on the idle. However, I'm going to manually press cast now. Okay, and it goes to the cast and then it stops. Okay, so now we want to do, we just want to create transition back to idle automatically without any condition and the other thing is that i want to i want this character to uh, go into cast mode straight away i don't want it to wait for the idle to finish uh, so i'll uh, untick has exit time now okay i'm gonna save the scene save the project press play and let's try it again Okay, so we go idle and it should be looping like this. So I'm gonna just press here manually, cast. Right, it goes immediately to the cast and goes back to idle. Right, so I think this is exactly what we want. Cool, great. Now let's try to do the same for our target. 
character, but it will be a hit effect. So I'm going to select a target and I'm going to create a new state, call it hit. Also, you could, yeah, you could set up a die um, animation set of hit. So for example, when you hit this target, it's just going to fall over and die if you got the animation to support that. But let's try hit. And then I'm going to make transition back to the idle. And we need to set up a parameter, which will be trigger. And we're going to call it hit. And on this arrow from idle to hit, we're going to set up a condition to hit. Okay, so now if I press play, the idle should be looping. I'm going to press hit. Right, okay, so we forgot to untick this has exit time. I'm going to select hit now. Okay, something weird happened because I think we don't have <laughs> animation attached here. Okay, so let's select idle, click here. It's going to navigate to um, animation folder where the, all the animation should be. And we're going to look for hit animation. Let's try this one. Okay, so it does play the animation, but I don't think that's the animation I want for the hit. So I'm just going to try a different one while we're running the engine. Okay, that one's much better. So I'm going to go with this one. Right, I'm going to save the scene, save the project as well. I'm going to test it on two both the characters. So that's our target and, and our player as well. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to, I want to create a basic collisions for both of the characters. So I'm going to create empty child while having player one selected and I'm going to call it collision. I'm going to add capsule collider. Change its height of the other uh, parameters. To be honest, you don't have to select for, you don't have to do the collider for our player. However, maybe later you would like to turn that character into um, a walking character, or maybe you want to create your own kind of gameplay thing. So uh, you might as well just create a collider for your, uh, for the player. And we're going to do the same for our target. So create empty child. Collider or collision, and I'm just gonna um, duplicate it from our player. Something like this. I also going to create a, a tag. So I'm going to add tag. I'm going to create to, I'm going to go to tags and I'm going to create target tag. Now I'm going to select our collision component and tag it uh, as a target basically.
I'm not sure if I want this to be triggered. So maybe let's leave this for now. And when it comes to actually attaching our projectile to our player, we will see if this needs to be triggered or not. Okay, so let's save our um, scene and our prefabs. Just to make sure it won't crash on us. And I think next thing that we have to do, it will be the cast projectile and an impact prefab. Okay, so let's go to uh, folder and let's maybe uh, create a basic um, template. So I'm going to create template templates folder. Mm. And what I want to do, I'm going to create 3D object sphere. I'm going to call it cast. I'm going to duplicate it twice. This one's going to call it projectile and this one will be impact. I need some materials as well so I'm just gonna call it template one template two and template three. Okay, so the first one's gonna be cast, so let's say it's gonna be uh, orange or yellow. Projector will be maybe green. And an impact will be uh, red. So those are temporary um, files basically for us so we can work with it. And we're gonna test our collisions and Later on, we're just going to replace those with something else. So, for example, we can create a empty game object, call it projectile template. We can do the same for impact, so basically impact template. drag my impact sphere into the impact template projectile to projectile template and cast into cast template and I'm gonna go to templates now and drag those so they will be as uh, prefabs and I can delete them from scene okay so this is our basic preparation for um, next part which we will do um, coding We'll basically code the whole system for our firing projectile, um, spawning, cast and impact effects. Um, for now, we're just going to use templates, but later on, for example, we could do once we have this ready, you can take the impact, for example, duplicate it, right? Delete this and replace it with the particle system. OK. Right, so let's test our scene again just in case something happened. So we go to idols, I'm gonna select player, go to animator, trigger, trigger the cast animation, the same for the target, for the hit animation, and it seems like everything is working. 